Amelia Bennett was living a normal life when a diagnosis changed everything. I'm in the hospital waiting for them to tell me like, oh, you have the stomach virus or, you know, 24 hour bug. And he's like, um, for some reason, both your kidneys are shutting down. You have end stage renal failure. It didn't register until like after, you know, a few minutes. I'm like, wait a minute. So what's the next step? What's going on? Pretty much the very next day, I did the application for the kidney transplant. The kidney transplant was not immediate. It would take seven years to happen, including grueling years on dialysis and time spent searching for a living donor. The doctor called me and he's like, yeah, we have a, a living donor anonymous and they want to do it on the 30th. I still did not believe it until I literally was in the hospital talking to Dr. Bati. And I was like, oh my God, this is really happening. All set. Let's do this. Not your everyday operation. This was the first time the University of Maryland transplant team was placing a kidney with a robot. When I talked to the patients, I told her very clearly that this is the sort of a first time we'll be doing it here. She was intrigued. She asked questions, but she was all excited about it. When I explained her about the surgery and the benefit of having surgery using a minimal invasive approach. They were telling me about Dr. Bhatti and how he, um, he's an expert and how he done it in other states and that I would be the first case in Maryland and if I had like any reserves about it, I'm like, honestly, at this point, I'm like, I don't mind being a guinea pig. <laughs> I'm like, I just want to start my life over again and if I could have a surgery where I'm in my scarring, I was with it. <laughs> the scar is only about five to six centimeter long and you have about three, four smaller scars, which are eight to nine millimeter size scar. Patient recover much quickly, go home, and they return back to their normal life much, much quicker than a traditional patients would do. The next day at four o'clock in the morning, I was walking around. Like I wasn't in that much pain. I could honestly say this probably was the best surgery ever. <laughs> this robotic surgery is also a better option for patients with a high body mass index. Larger the patient, larger the scar because kidney goes all the way in the back. So you have to able to reach back there to do the surgery. Well, when we do with the robot, the instruments goes there. So scar are four and five small, eight, nine millimeter scar plus about seven, eight centimeter. When I went to go see my clinical doctors, he actually couldn't, he was like, where did they do the surgery at? And I was showing him, he was like, that can't be the spot. I'm like, yeah, it was. He's like, no, you're supposed to have this big scar on the side. I'm like, oh no, I did the robotic. And he was like, oh, this is new to me. <laughs> and this new kidney means a new lease on life for Amelia with lots of time for trying new recipes.